to Mrs. German at her house in Gloucester. Dear Madam, though I was not so fortunate as to be favored with an answer to the letter with which I troubled you in the spring, I still flatter myself that you retain some regard for me and my concerns. I am sure the care and tenderness with which I was treated, under your roof and tuition, demand the warmest returns of gratitude and affection on my part, and these sentiments, I hope, I shall cherish to my dying day, at present, I think it my duty to make you acquainted with the happy issue of that indiscretion by which I incurred your displeasure to, ah. Madam, the slighted Wilson is metamorphosed into George Denison, only son and heir of a gentleman, whose character is second to none in England, as you may understand upon inquiry. My guardian, my brother, and I, are now in his house, and an immediate union of the two families is to take place in the persons of the young gentleman and your poor Lydia Melford. You will easily conceive how embarrassing this situation must be to a young inexperienced creature like me, of weak nerves and strong apprehensions, and how much the presence of a friend and confidant would encourage and support me on this occasion. You know, that of all the young ladies, Miss Willis was she that possessed the greatest share of my confidence and affection, and, therefore, I fervently wish to have the happiness of her company at this interesting crisis. Mrs. Dennison, who is the object of universal love and esteem, has, at my request, written to you on this subject, and I now beg leave to reinforce her solicitations, my dear Mrs. German. My ever-honored governess. Let me conjure you by that fondness which once distinguished your favorite Lydia, by that benevolence of heart which disposes you to promote the happiness of your fellow creatures in general. Lend a favorable ear to my petition, and use your influence with Letty's mamma, that my most earnest desire may be gratified. Should I be indulged in this particular, I will engage to return her safe, and even to accompany her to Gloucester, where, if you will give me leave, I will present to you, under another name, dear madam, your most affectionate humble servant, and penitent, Lydia Melford, October 14th.